Hello and welcome back to a Game of Thrones mod for Crusader Kings 2. So I've got a bit of a cold today, so we're going to maybe make this a little bit shorter, we'll see. Uh, minimal cuts is the objective. Uh, there was something we missed in the last episode, or maybe a couple episodes ago. Uh, we actually now have the Peaceburys in charge of the uh, Westlands, which is a little bit interesting. Yeah, there was a rebellion that put them in charge, uh, I just think we missed it somewhere. Uh, so what do they usually control? It'll probably be one of these lordships. Probably that lordship, I guess, unless that's underneath cast that is underneath Castle Castle Rock. Ah, they must control Brent Brook usually. Hmm. Okay. But yeah, they're in charge. We'll see how that goes. Let's let everything continue. Grant self leech's title. Using your powers regent, you may grant yourself one of Lord Mark's titles. Excuse me? Okay. So, what happens? We would get the Lordship of Laygood Keep. He would get a weak claim on it. The Septum's opinion of us goes down by 20 for 60 months. And Logan's opinion of us goes down by 20 for 60 months. Okay, so it would lower the opinion of everybody in the courts? Like, it would lower everyone in the courts' opinion of us by 20. But we could do it. What's Laygood Keep? Do we want it? Is it good? Lay good keep. Is it probably underneath here, right? Nope. Uh, I could just look at him. Lordship of Lay good keep. Oh, that's pretty good. That's quite close to us. Um, what would I do? Go here, split it up. Yeah, we could grant ourselves that. Um, wait, where is it again? Let's zoom out again. Oh, it must be this one right here. Yeah, I want this. Sure part of the Rose Road. Okay, that doesn't matter. Yeah, I want that. We'll take it. We'll give ourselves one title. We control it. We would now lose a title on our death. Or a vassal title on the vassal's death. Okay. Egg oh, it must be this guy underneath us. Oh, can we do it again? I suspect I'm being tricked here, but it seems to be suggesting that we could also have the High Lordship of Rose Road. Okay. I'm feeling that there's a trick here. Like, I'm feeling that something's not right, and something's going to come back and cause us severe trouble. But I'm going to have it. Hmm. Okay. So we now hold a High Lordship. We can't do that again. Okay. But we now have the High Lordship of Rose Road. I mean, we are deceitful and ambitious, so... I don't see why we would be so against taking these. High Lordship of Rose Road would follow our succession laws? I assume so, yeah. Um, it also... Do we get have everyone underneath us? Are they our vassal now? They are! Wow, that was... We have so many more troops available? That's crazy. I'm just going to wait, like, a couple of months, see what happens. Our leash probably doesn't like us very much. S suspected corruption, I'm ambitious, yeah. He's ambitious. Why did we become his, like, under what world did we get to become his regent? Also, we could probably kill him if we wanted, yeah. Cool. I have no idea what just happened. Oh well, we'll let time move on. Middlebury died. People are being released from dungeons. We can press some weak claims. Maybe on the King of the Iron Throne we could get Firing Cross for our vassal, Lord Alan Inchfield. Um, let's uh, double check this. Alan Inchfield, he has... Lordship... No, that's the wrong one. Uh, Alan Inchfield, high claim... Alright, claim a night song? That's not the right one. Okay. What was the other? Oh, no. It's last claim, Lordship of Farron Cross. Hmm. We could maybe press that. I'm okay just not doing anything. Iron Throne is just in Adornus March is worn, and everyone will go back underneath. Cool. Well, we have a lot more men now. That was unexpected. Very unexpected. Hmm. Lord Franklin of Bitterbridge has founded the deposed Lady Lucia faction. Why? Do you not like me? 
He wants our High Lordship. Fair enough, fair enough. Uh, yeah. Well, we'll just kind of not do anything. My lady's my work in Old Town it seems to have come to fruition by bribing, controlling, extorting, threatening, and forging documents. I've managed to fabricate a claim on the Lordship of Inchfield, currently held by Lady Julia of Inchfield. Um, I think we want this, yeah. It's going to cost us money, but we want it. We now have a claim on all three of these things. If we were to declare war, which we can't because we're bankrupt, we could try and take all three of those in one war. That'd be nice. Then we control so much. We currently control all of this. We would actually control a straight line through the reach. That would be crazy. Cool. Uh, you know what? We don't need you to fabricate another claim. We'll just get you to improve relations with our liege. Because he probably doesn't like us very much. And if he ever grows up, he'll probably try and uh, take some of our titles. Um, yeah, we do control quite a lot of his power, though. I am tempted to kill him. Now, my reasoning for being tempted to kill him is if I kill him, his heir comes in charge, and his heir is younger. Can we choose to educate him with by ourselves? Interesting. Like, I want you to be educated by me. I can, yeah. Cool. Well, we'll take care of his education. Don't you worry about it. He'll be perfect under our control. You'll see what he says. Yes, he accepts it. We now have our liege under our complete control. What could we do to him now? We could. Does that give us even better chances to kill him? Pretty much, yeah. We could just have him in chain. We could actually kidnap him and have him permanently in our control, but. Mm. There are ways of getting out of kidnapping that I'm not too happy with. Some changes to taxes. We're still waiting for our men to actually recover, which is the main problem in all of this. Okay, people being released from other people's dungeons, okay, we'll just let it continue. Raiders, people, more people being released from other people's dungeons. Hmm. Yeah, a whole bunch. It must be everyone settling down after the wars. Iron Throne's probably going to lose this ba this war as well. Yep. Uh, my leash since I arrived in New Barrel, there's never been a shortage of soldiers reinforcing the troops stationed there. Under our guidance, they believe fame and fortune awaits them. Your humble marshal, Lord Garth of the Ring. Cool. Levy reinforcement goes up. Perfect. That's exactly what we want. I'm afraid the faction I represent must insist on succession by primogenitor. We are fully prepared to take up arms who to refuse, and rest assured we have enough men to enforce our demand. Okay, let's see who we've got. We have him, we have Lord Axel, and we have Lord Donis in this faction. Lord Donis is eight thousand troops what excuse me how does he have 8,000 troops does is long table a fantastic province oh it is a fantastic province damn right if we say no what happens if we say no we're at war with the 8,000 troops plus another 3,000 plus Another 1,000. Okay. That gives it about 12,000. Liege loyalists have about 800. That's not enough. <sighs> we have no choice. Damn. Okay. Well, wait. Wait. That changed succession law, right? How is he still in charge? This is not updating properly. Fantastic. That's exactly what I wanted. If it just never updates, then it's fine. We just need to die right now. It'll change at some point. It'll calculate it. Oh, we're underneath the Iron Throne again. Their war ended. Uh, I guess that means the Dornish Marches won their war. Um, For whatever. I think it was for Summerhall. Yeah. Okay, Westland should jump back underneath as well. Well, wait. Yeah, there we go. The Iron Throne and Dorne jumped underneath. And title lost on succession. Damn. We would become our daughter. Uh, I'm going to quickly set up a save here. Just to be sure that we're not going to accidentally die off. That would be very bad. Very, very bad. No heir of your dynasty. Title lost on succession. Budget deficit. 
We claims. Okay. We could claim Roseford if we wanted it. We don't quite have enough men, but we could do it. We actually have a claim on Roseford. Uh, what's that for? Wait, do we? Uh, oh, it's a de jure ducal claim. Okay, what? I guess that's the Rose Road duchy. De jure, yeah, okay. Well, we might want to do that. Let's put it into this mode, and then down one more. I guess you can't do it in that one. You can only do it in this mode. Okay, there we go. That's what we're after. Uh, okay. Well, we'll just let time move on. Nothing we can really do about it. Can we change succession law again? I think we can change it in another 10 years. No, has not previously changed the succession law. Damn. Okay. How do we fix this? Change our main title? Oh. Members seek to force... Seek to force to abolish the monarchy and abdicate in favour of a new republic led by Lady Lucy of Cocoswit. Interesting. I just want to see who's going to join in. If anybody. Because that could be a way out of our problems. Let's have a look at succession law. It actually goes Sarah Buckwell Buckwell. So she must have two children. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Hmm. Damn. How old are we? 40. There's time. There is time. Okay, who do we need in our faction? We need people who are strong. We also need him not to come to power. Let's have a look at the realm tree. Uh, right, so be under Mark, we need the second most powerful. We need the other Fozaways to be part of our plan. We can't spy on her though. Her heir, however, we could spy on. If we kill this Fozaway, right? Hear me out, if we kill her, that then puts someone we can spy on. We can then attempt to get them in our faction. That gives us the two strongest people in the reach under our faction. Okay. What else do we need to do? We would need Randall in here probably. Hmm. Anybody actually like us? No, nobody likes us at all. Huh. Okay, well, we need uh, Mina Voltown. Or her. Or we need her uh, replacement. Her replacement also likes us better. <sighs> right. We have enough plot power to kill. Let's do it. She has to die. That's the only way out of the situation. She has to die. Okay. Any known plots that are useful that we could maybe set off? Nope. None of them are useful. Cool. Also invite. Everybody's going to join. Perfect. So at least died uh, bedridden, bedridden and infirm. So that's her mother-in-law died. Okay. Anyone else want to join in? Any really high plot powers? Oh, nope. You don't want to join in. Spymaster would be great, but she doesn't want to join in. Okay. Well, we'll just wait it out then. Not a lot we can actually do. Uh, we could try... Wait, can we change the other part of succession law? Nope. Damn. What we really want to do is we want to lose to a faction that wants to uh, put... Like, to change the succession law. I've decided to institute the chattel slavery law in the Kingdom of the Iron Throne. Your status as my your vassal entitles you to vote on the matter. Slavery, huh? We're just... But what... Hmm. See, I see we're just... We're temperate. Vow... Are we gonna say no? I think we might say no. I assume that we're just based on the laws of the land. Here's the thing, he's wanting to change the law. It's bas basically the question is, would it benefit us for slavery to exist in the Iron Throne? Maybe? 
I don't know. Uh, we'll approve it because it's our liege, I guess. We're ambitious. Like, our, our overarching liege. I do know if we change our main title, though, we could actually get out of this. Like, if we set the lordship as our primary title, what this will do is this will change uh, this. Like, we will... We have to wait 10 more years, but then we can change succession law again. Let's try it. Okay, so... We are no longer going to be Lady Lucia of Cockleswent. We are now going to be Lady Lucia of the Rose Road. Done. Now this means that we have not previously changed succession law. We have been reigning for at least 10 years, apparently. No vassals have a negative opinion of you is the only problem. Damn, a whole bunch have a negative opinion of me. Why? Large city taxes. Okay. Uh, upset by succession law change. Okay. Upset by succession law change. Large city taxes. If we lowered city taxes, that would help a lot. And short reign would help out for those two. Let's lower city taxes. Um, let's lower it to small. Let's see how that goes. Martin of Martin's Host is declared Martin's Host claim on the Trident on King Osmond the Peaceful. Martin Tully is declared for the Trident on King Osmond. He has a lot of men, but I don't think it's enough. Yeah, it's definitely not enough. Dear lover, your wisdom and mercy are legendary. I've discovered a plot where Lord Albert of Westmark seems to replace Lady Lucia Fosway as his Justicar. As Justicar. Wait. As Justicar for the realm? No. Stop it. End your plot. Yes. We did the small city taxes. That means that our vassals mostly like us more. We only have three who don't like us. Cupbearer. Solved him. Right. Two more. Lord of Starpike. How much does it cost to give you a gift? 27 gold. How much for you? 61. Damn. Honorary title would put us close. We need to educate a child with you. Appointing commander would not improve the opinion. Landed title would. Okay, we'll think about it. There's a way out of this. Just need to work out what it is. Report, yeah, your septum reports from New Barrel that it's charity work on your behalf is proceeding well. The poor have been fed and your pious standing has improved. Some piety, fantastic. Fantastic. Well, we're holding the realm together. It's just not the realm we started with. Um, anyone in our faction? Nobody's in our faction, okay. Uh, we don't want to press either of those, it just wouldn't work, okay. Let's see. Now, we do want to get Lady Mina, like, dead. Anyone else want to join? Nope. Well, we have a couple, but they only have 8%. Well, we'll just keep going. People attempted to imprison other people. Yeah, we'll just chill out here. Not a lot to do. We could attempt... Dear lover, uh, may you live in harmony and content. We have discovered a plot where Lord Mallor Bluebird states to fabricate a claim on the High Lordship of Rose Road. No, stop it. Where are you? Stop it. He says no. How about you? Stop back in the plot. No. Okay. Um, how about we spy on him? There we go. We'll see what we can do. Hopefully we can kill him. That would be favourable. Right. Also, how come he's able to fabricate through these plots thing? Is there something I'm missing? Alright. Now, I would like to try and get other people in uh, our faction. Yeah, we're still, we're still working on that. Alright. 
Uh, your set of accepted wyman of New Barrow reports that Maester Norman of Applesford has been humbled by your endless generosity to the poor New Barrow. The peasants are singing your name. Cool, Master Norman likes us. That's not who I wanted. Arwen is no longer our treasurer. New treasurer. Ooh. Interesting. We could do somebody who has no opinion of us. There we go. You're both awful as treasurer, but if we put you in charge, that'll work. Okay. There we go. He now likes us because he's on our council. Go collect taxes. Now we only have one who we're missing. Alan Inchford. I want to send you a gift. Right. Our vassals all love us. Perfect. Ah oh, no! We've lost the raid for 10 years. I guess it was a bug. Okay. Well, in 10 years, if all of our vassals still like us, then we're, then we're laughing. Lord Maribald of Bardsome has inherited Lordship of Bardsome from Lord Quentin of Bardsome. Is that still, uh, that's primogenitor? Okay. So that, that means that that would go into Line Aaron? No. Wait, it says it'll go to Aaron. Agnatic primogenitor. Why would it go to an Aaron here? That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Oh. It's agnatic, not agnatic, cognatic. I see. It would go to the next male heir. Uh, not male. It would go to the next, uh, yeah, male heir. Okay. <sighs> we inherited the city of Harvest Way. We can now give that away again, because it doesn't really matter. Let's uh, create a new vassal. Lady Lucia, after consultation with my council, I've decided to enact a law changing the rules of succession in the Iron Throne. Succession will hereby be determined by absolute agnatic inheritance of only male heirs able to inherit. Signed, King Hagen of House Targaryen. Please tell me that affected us. No, it's just the Iron Throne. <sighs> right. Well. Uh, I've not been having much luck spying on Lord Maller. Perhaps I should focus my efforts elsewhere. hes I'm sure he's up to something. Well, I mean, he's trying to take this thing from us, so uh, we know he's up to something. We just don't know how to get rid of him. Uh, people are people in prison, people. A young artist is working on a divine icon of the smith, the aspect of the seven, representing crafts and labour. He needs sponsorship to finish it so we can place it in our own set. Mm. Oh wow, we got a lot of money from that person dying, actually. Wow. Well, we can afford it, definitely. We'll take it. Yeah, our stewardship goes up as well. I didn't realise we got quite so much money we inherited there. Do love her. Blessings upon you and your house. I've discovered a plot where Lord Mathis of Green Shield takes to replace Lady Lucy and become regent. No. No. Just. Just. Cut it out. Stop it. Yeah. How about you stop this as well? Well, wait. There we are. Not that one. Next one. There we are. Uh, that gave me a fright when I was reading the top corner. At age 53, Lady Lucia of the Reach died. Okay, Lady Lucia. Uh, Tyrell, not Lady Lucia. Fuzz away. Important, important. Okay, back here. You, stop back in the plot. I know what you're up to. Uh, nope. He's not interested. He's gonna back this plot. Well, hopefully they don't have a lot of plot power. Uh, right. Maybe we should try and kill Mark while we still can? I'm surely with child. My husband will be pleased. Excuse me? 41. Okay. Be a male heir. Fingers crossed. Um, let's try making stuff up about Muller, about Maller Uller. He has an imaginary friend called Bappo. He did not find out. Good. That I told everyone about this. Do you want to leave his plot yet? Imaginary friend. Nope. Nope, he does not care. Martin Tully accepted King Osmond uh, the Peaceful's peace offer. Okay, that now means that the trident... Oh, he took both. I thought he was just going for the trident, but he also took the mountain and veil with it. So... Wait. Oh, Martin Tully actually lost. That would explain it. Oh, he's already a eunuch. Interesting. Well, that would explain what happened to him. 
Elise Fosway died after a period of illness. She was married to Lord Mathis Redding. Do you love her blessing upon you and your house? I've discovered a plot where Lord Tyrell II of the Arbor seeks to replace Lady Lucy and become regent. Excuse me? No. Stop it. I'm the only regent around here. <sighs> right. To the glorious Lady Lucy, are you wisdom and mercy are legendary? Your demand is just. My scheming was obviously misdirected. I hope you will find it in you to forgive me. Yeah, maybe. We'll see. Uh, we can press our weak claims again. Don't need to do any of that. Uh, Arwen Hewitt was murdered on the orders of Ellen. Who's Ellen? Ellen, some random person. Okay. Truces are expiring. Cool, cool. Lords of Yelshire have uh, approved institution of taxes. Definitely a good idea. Right. Uh, people are dying. More people are dying. We seem to be doing fine. Oh, King Osmond of the Mountain Vale died under suspicious circumstances. Pretty certain he was murdered. That now means that there's Queen Miranda of the Mountain of Vale. Who does it go to next? It would go to another Aaron. Okay. Cool. Yeah, Mountain and Vale are interesting. They're kind of blocking off everything else, like north of us. My lady, since I've arrived in New Mile, there's never been a shortage of soldiers reinforcing the troops stationed there under a guidance they believe fame and fortune awaits them. Your humble marshal, Lord Garth of the Ring. Well, hopefully, hopefully, yeah. Whew. Keeping us alive is difficult. Change tax law, small feudal taxes, cool. People are founding factions for the Trident. Nobody's joined our faction yet, I assume. Nope, nobody's joined it. King Andrew of the North died under suspicious circumstances. Somebody killed the North guy. Wait, is it still underneath the Starks? It is. It's now under Jojin Stark. Different line. Interesting. Iron Oaks changed their uh, stuff. We have a new heir. If we die, we'll play as Dina Fossaway. What? Does that work? A sickly child. You're not going to be called Dinah. You're going to be called... Um, I don't know. We could name it after our mother. Let's go one more step back. Grandmother? Nah, let's go for great-grandmother then. Uh, we could just name her Lucia again. Just never change from Lucia. One more back. Let's see if there's a name that I, that catch my eye. I don't know, we're going to name you JD Lannister. That'll work. Not Lannister, that was the name of the person I was looking at. There we go, you can be JD. Okay. Uh, my liege, my network of spies in Old Town have found out that local noble is homosexual. What should we do with this information? Blackmail him, spread rumours, let it be. Blackmail him, definitely. What are we doing with that? Who was it? Who knows? Um, I think that we're going to end the episode here. I have no idea how the succession law... Wait. Huh? Says that she's our heir. Did she inherit something different? Like, who? what does she inherit? She's the heir to the High Lordship of Cockleswent, not to the High Lordship of Rose Road. Wait, do they have different succession laws? Or is this a bug? Ah! Okay. It has Gavelkind. Now, Gavelkind means that you can't give all your titles to one person, meaning that it would go to her, but that means that we lose everything that's currently in the High Lordship of the Rose Road, which is all of this, so we would go down to having those four provinces. This is an improvement. It's not great, however. I'm going to end the episode there. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.